my favorite character, I would say Ludovico Sforza. I don't know why, maybe because I love James Darcy and I love his Ludovico Sforza. I think the relationship between Sforza and Caterina is, is, is very interesting in its complexity, but ultimately it, it felt to me like it was a power game. It's your choice, of course. There really is no choice at all. Yeah, James was fun. James is a great guy. He's one of these actors too that straight away just embodied the char he was the character. You know, he just felt right straight away, um, and he brought a lot of humor to the role too, which was brilliant. I felt right. You are Leonardo. Do you know who I am? Yes, Your Grace. One of the really exciting things about playing a character who is, you know in charge is actually you don't have to do anything. Everybody else does it for you. It's a great character. It's full of contradiction and um, over the line all the time. He's crazy. He's the boss of the castle, but um, you never know what he's thinking. He can be charming. He can be a tyrant. He can be uh, quiet. He can be loud. He can be any one of those things, but it's much more to do with the way people react around him in court. I mean, I, I think a menacing guy and scary person to have around, but you know, he, I think he's a patron of the arts and I think it's for that reason alone as somebody that Leonardo appreciated, you know? I think he challenged him. Uh, I think he opened his imagination to some extent. Uh, and I think he, you know, he did push him in ways that even a genius like Leonardo da Vinci needed someone to keep pushing him forward because every, every artist is played with self-doubt and the show explores that quite a bit. Um, so Sforza was the person who was there to say to him, no, it's possible, do it, do it, do it.